so Director of Women's Cricket at the ECB. Tell me a little bit about how you came to get to that position. Um, it was a role that I, well, it's a role that's very different now from when I started 10 years ago. Um, the role then was obviously in a very different era for women's sports. So um, I'd retired from playing for England. Um, I'd gone back into teaching, which was my career at the time. And then the role came up, the head of women's cricket role came up at the England and Wales Cricket Board. And, um, and I decided to give it a go. Um, I didn't think I would move into an administrative role. Um, I was very happy in teaching and it had been a very supportive career for me as, I'd be, as an England cricketer. Um, but I'm really glad I did make that move um, into the ECB. The role now, you know, it's changed. The, the whole landscape of women's sports and obviously women's cricket's changed immensely over that decade. So, you know, the number of staff now, professional players, a semi-professional league, so much more international cricket, a pathway, um, you know, d uh, specialist coaches and science and medicine department. It's, you know, it's, it's been amazing to see the progress really in that 10 years. And um, yeah, it's, it's been, it's, uh, you know, I've, I've just come up to my 10 year kind of anniversary in the role. And um, it's amazing to see how far we've come. I'm, I'm really, you know, really privileged to have been involved in that decade of progress really. And certainly more prominent over time, but especially, I think, after the World Cup last year. Yeah, I think, you know, that was the, the most unbelievable day, um, certainly for me and for the players and everyone who's worked kind of in the women's game over that period. Um, it, was, uh, it was magical, you know, 26,000 people at Lords. The fact that we won, um, couldn't have written a better script, really. A, a World Cup win on home soil against India, so we had this huge global interest in it as well. Viewing figures of over 180 million people for a Women's World Cup final. So, this, you know, it was kind of written, maybe written in the stars. You know, with an hour to go, it didn't look like we were going to win. Um, and then Anya Shrubsoul bowled the best spell of her life. And, you know, an hour later, and we're, we're lifting that trophy. So, yeah, the, the key now, I suppose, is, to, is, is making sure we capitalise on it making sure that the game grows and we really take that kind of golden moment to, to really continue to grow the game, spread the game as far as we can, invest in the game. Um, it's, it's shown us that there is huge interest and a huge appetite for, for families to come and watch international women's cricket. But it, we're also seeing, a, as the summer's got underway this year, a, a huge take up in the sports that, you know, is a, a, a massive... Uh, uh, increase on last year so the signs are good uh, but you know like with as with all of us in this room and everyone who does work in women's sport we've made huge progress but there's still so much to do and that's you know that's an exciting place to be and these events themselves have this event has actually progressed itself hasn't it tell me about why it's so important to be here it's really important to be here it's important you know whilst whilst we're still really trying to kind of amplify women's sports and celebrate the achievements of those working in the sport, volunteering in the sport, playing women's sport across, the, across all sports. It's really important that nights like this exist and that the Women's Sport Trust does the work that it does to celebrate and try to drive interest and investment, lobby for and, and drive kind of the growth in, in women's sport across the board. Um, you know, the fact that the England women's team won Sports Personality of the Year, Team of the Year this year was a huge moment. And that's, you know, your big mainstream sports awards of the year. But it's still really important that nights like this exist to showcase and celebrate so much work that is going on in women's sport that, that maybe doesn't get recognised on those really big moments in the year, in the calendar. Um, so it's, it, it promises to be a good night. A good celebration of a year of real further progress and amazing achievements from team, team sports, but also individual athletes who've had an amazing year as well, and everyone who works to support them. Well, congratulations on your achievements as well. Thank you, Claire. Thank you.